Episode 15 Pansand Bay to Spiwa via Fruit Bat Falls. Go, man, go. Shall I go the side of the road? Or come down here. Oh, I think it's down here. Did you want to go straight ahead? Mm. Rolling. Just make sure we don't hit the, any trees or anything, just do it with the video. Yeah, so that's what it is. was spinning wheels just coming out of that thing. There's another little road down here. <laughs> My gut feeling says that's where we used to go. It seemed to be like a long, yeah, a long crossing, but it was always wet and deep. To me, that feels like the way we used to drive through. I remember it being much more of a straight line. It was more of a a water in and out. Yeah. I don't remember it being so gunshotty, but then it was 10, 12 years ago. That's a definite gunshot. <laughs> These tracks are just mental, aren't they? Wasn't planning on it. Oh, no. Definitely not going in on that one either. That is straight down. We've 
a swim. Yeah. Swim, swim. Let's go for a swim, babe. Or is it also known as a wash? Yeah. They got a diff lock then. Yeah, we got a rear diff lock, but he might not, he won't need it going down. Yeah, so everyone just sticks stickers on it, don't they? Yeah, and everyone's got a logo. Kids have done. Let's go down the tow truck a bit more, but there's plenty of spaces we can come here. So, you're talking about going back and getting the trailer now? No, I might as well go down the tow truck a little bit further. Yeah, I know, but okay. today? Yes, today. Why not? Well, what do you think? That's one massive rut, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that caused by rain? Oh, yeah. It's pure erosion, that is. That's like. This is the tally truck. Oh. We don't want to go any further. Oh, that's a big hole, babe. That's a big, big hole. You don't. No, 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 well, no. I can't no. turn around. Can I get out, though? I can't turn around. Can I get out? Oh. Film it. We've got to. We've got, we've got to continue on now. We've got no choice. I think we can turn around over there. Or? Yeah, but I've got to do the obstacle to get through. You can't reverse. No. I'm not seeing. Okay. Do you want to walk it? Twin Falls. What? Husband. What? Our garden.
Okay. You're funny. <laughs> Tell them about the hole. Pretty nasty hole here. I kept it as high up here as I possibly could. And I missed that hole there totally. But he hasn't got any side steps though to protect him. <laughs> Carl! I wish you'd chuck them. He's going to go down, he's going to go in it. You're right in my view, babe. Yeah, just going down, just go straight into the hole. If yeah. someone comes through this one, why how would you put that cut? Like, because they can. Yeah, like it's an adventure. And then obviously on the other side. Oh, he's going a different line oh, out. He's going to go up that. He's going to go oh, up yeah. there. Oh, I reckon that's one. Oh, no. Just because he can. I think stick to the main track. Yeah. There's not much in it to be honest. No. Oh well, at least we saw someone go that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, it's a cool track. Good for the stomach muscles. Just 
creates some space. I'm not going this way, but I need to be on the track that he's on, so I'll go forward and then you let it pass, and then you can reverse back up. P1. Well, done part of the tele track, mate. They've done part of it yesterday as well. You can't help it with this sort of stuff. Why? Why do we have to rush it? Because there's other people on the track. And that's why I said let them around. Let them pass us. So we're walking to Elliot and Twit Falls. Baby left, baby right.
video footage. I know, I'm sorry. There you go that's how you do it don't need any traditional anything no nope, just hang it over the trees and shrubbery ah oh, look rover truck we've got the falls all to ourselves how lovely is this the sun is shining but it has been a little bit gray recently There we are! We're going for a swim! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All to ourselves! Instagram worthy! <laughs> are you my model? I am your model! Oh 
oh dear look at this dust has got in our seals are not working what are we going to do i don't know Driving down the road, we've just left Cohen, and this guy comes on the radio and he says, G'day, mate. <laughs> Didn't say <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, he just gave me a call on the radio, um, said there's something not quite right with the uh, driver's side Stockman Rover wheel, or trailer wheel. So, I do know that it's slightly out of alignment. I'm getting scalloping, which means that the, like every alternate tread of the block, so it drops, it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and up, and it's kind of like what they call scalloping, which is on the inside edge. So I had a feeling that it might be pointing a little bit out, I think that, like it's got banged backwards or something, but I don't think so. By looking at it, it looks like it's gone camber, so it's like a, a camber adjustment. If it's that way adjustment, it should just be camber, it could, should be adjustable, but I don't know how you do it on a trailer, or a car for that matter. <laughs> but I know it can be done on the car, because it's kind of part of the wheel alignment. So we're going to have to get another tyre, because that one is going to be pretty knackered by the time we get back to Cairns, and we're going to get a wheel alignment done on it as well. That's all the joys of driving round the outback. <laughs> Some of those corrugations were absolutely brutal and for hundreds of kilometres. Not surprised we've got a few issues. It's quite nice to be on a bit of tar as we drive from Cohen on our way down towards Laura. 200 and something odd kilometres. We're doing about 200 into Kennedy River. I want one of those. So what is it again? An adventure vehicle. But they do conversions on it. That's a Mitsubishi, whatever, Fuso truck. And then they bolt, they bolt the caravan adventure, adventure vehicle. vehicle on the back. Yeah, that's what I want. And then you spec out your caravan, camper van bit. Got ourselves a nice little spot all to ourselves. By the river. What? I'm talking to the camera. There we go. What you got cooking in your pot? I want some. <laughs> you want me? Well, some. <laughs> Hello, what are you doing? I am videoing. Oh, Colleen's videoing me, talking to you on my phone. Oh, look, 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 look. There we go. There's a little image. Uh oh, you're gonna be on. You're gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. Well, we won't go there. No, no, we're fine. Cooking on the fire. We have chickens. Chicken. That has. Garlic powder, salt, and no pepper actually. Um, cinnamon, chili. In in that one, there, that one there. We have that one. Peas and sweet corn from the freezer. We have zucchini. We have red onion. We have garlic, and we have ginger from Cushion and Abby's place. And then oh. we've got our baked potatoes down there. So we've got baked potatoes down here, which are cooking. And the chicken is up here, which is good. I am Chief Barbecuer! <laughs> That's a cooking pot for today. What you got cooking in your pot? Yeah, I'm not going to have you singing, you know, I'm going to be having roads. Oh, no way. Yeah, but that's me in time. But let's try and give that one a go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ami. Yamo. 
You're not showing my plate because I've eaten all the chicken and the potato. I've eaten all the chicken and the potato. <laughs> I'm just left with the veggies. The veggies are yummy. Mm -hmm. Right. Take two. My spare air filter and oil filter. So this lives in the drawer and in the back of the car. And my oil filter fits actually inside the air filter, which is quite cunning. So, in the background. there we go. So, one oil filter. There's a little bit of rubber in there, so that, that sits on top of the rubber. And then one new air filter ready to go. So, we'll unbag that one. Do you want to just check, see what the old one's like? It might still be okay. Yeah, it might still be. I doubt it. It's going to be pretty mucky. We're going to pull it out now anyway. Okay, so this is the air filter here. All right, so I've got to undo these two little air rubber pressure hoses. Pull that out to the side. Unclip, unclip. This has got a different clip. And... Dun, 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 dun. Yep. That is a pretty dirty air filter. Not as bad as I thought it might have been, but uh, yeah, it's pretty. Hold it in the air and well, and pose for me. Let me compare it. You want to? You mean this is the uh, the thumbnail? Yeah. That's great. Hang on. <laughs> I go. Yeah. <laughs> right. I do. And that's the difference. Hmm, look at that. Yeah, so that's after doing the cape and back. And that's that's why I'm putting the fresh But that rubber. still has... It still has some life in it. Is it worth not just holding on to it and doing... No, because I thought I might be down a little bit on power, but I'd rather... These are cheap. All right. Air filters are the cheapest of them all, but they're the biggest and bulkiest. Slide that in, got the little spindle it sits on, and then that bit inside has got a seal on it, and that fits in there. So bring that over the top, line it up, push it down, clippy clippy. That's your three clips, then you've got your two hoses to go back on. Push that one on there, runs around the top of the box. And it goes to that side of the filter. I choose to buy. I thought you were going to put that in the bin. Uh, I'm going to put it back in the drawer and then I'll deal with it. You don't need to be videoing me putting it back in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Everything's got a space. <laughs> ming, 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 ming. Well, it came out. Okay, stop video. <laughs> this is how we're shopping. Uh, where are we? Lakeland. Lakeland. Just done diesel. Not so, the same organic produce. We've just got some limes and some arvos at the last place. Ooh. Wow, they look nice, don't they? Passion fruit. It's quite expensive, though. Yeah. Um, and it's all, what, what's it? It's all uh, organic. No, it's all organic, but it's loyal. It's um, loyalty. Lakeland. No, um, they trust you. Oh, honesty box. Honesty box. Yes. That's interesting. One twenty. Did both our lines. Big mandarins, small mandarins. Okay. The um, orange candy melon. Different money box for the other one. Chili sauces, pickles from Bianca. God, we trust. I love it. Right, I'm definitely buying well, from fruits, here. honey and mango sauces. Okay. Aboriginal flag, an Aussie flag, and a Japanese flag. No honey. Honey. You're videoing me again. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. That's because you're my model, babe.
Do what? That's because you're my model. Because the sun's there. This isn't going to come out. Is beautiful. And I am beautiful. So am I. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. It's fine. What? It's fine. Tell this, me what's going on. This attaches to there. And then your brake drum attaches onto there. And then your wheel goes on there. And we have bent this axle. So what's happening is, rather than it sitting straight out from the car, it's sitting slightly back like that. Okay. So the wheel is pointing outwards rather than straight. If you're enjoying our videos, please click like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications.